All right, everyone, the future of Las Vegas is very uncertain. I know there's a lot of optimism. We may see a bounce, but when you see headlines like this, well, things are not looking too good. Selling it for $6.25 billion. Now, as you know, the former CEO just passed away, Sheldon Adelson, and I've exposed him in many of my previous videos. Don't trust a lot of these people. So you can see here that Apollo Global Management is partnering to buy the Venetian, the 7,000 resort room in the Strip, which I believe is the largest hotel in the world, and the nearby Sands Expo Convention Center, which and that also includes the MSG sphere, believe it or not. So they're trying to also give it to the Vichy properties for the remaining $4 billion. They want to make sure that despite the success that they've had in about 20 to 25 years, they want to focus us more in Asia. And there were also rumors that reported that Adelson was planning to sell the properties prior to that. Well, it's just looking pretty, pretty just shocking in a way depressing, but let's talk about who Apollo management really, really is. You can see this is one of these private equity venture capital firms. Let's see who runs these institutions. Look, Jewish, you could see here. Let's go right here, Jewish. You can take a look at this one right here. Jewish. I mean, <laughs> I mean, is it just me? But why is it that so many of these financial institutions are run by Jews? And why is it such a taboo to even talk about it, for heaven's sakes? Adelson's a Jew. Goldstein is a Jew. Is it like discrimination or something? You tell me. But despite all of that, because they're getting out, they know that perhaps it's becoming game over for this town. That MGM Resorts property reopened full time. Now, are they really doing this because they really believe things are going to get better or they're really behind this whole pandemic scheme to make people falsely believe that, oh, things are getting better. The vaccines are working. The counts, the cases are going down. Nothing to worry about. Things are starting to look normal. So what do you think? behind all this just because they open does not necessarily mean that we're just going to go back on track what do you think about all this could there be covid mutations and all of a sudden they'll have to shut these properties again because we've seen that before they reopen and they shut down maybe they might have climate lockdowns look at this there's just been so much opposition in terms of renaming the airport there is just so much anxiety. This further proves that I just don't think the county commission elections are really valid, considering the fact that they also raised sales tax about 14, 15 months ago. And God knows if they actually gave the money to the students and the homeless people. They said it's going to cost about seven million private donations. Yeah, the same guy who said that said the marijuana money was going to go to schools. And I've told you before, call the FAA and not to mention there's this petition right here you can definitely look into and you can sign as well. You can see that many people are saying that we're in the heading in the right direction of the economic recovery. I just don't really see it. Yes, there is a bounce, but true economic recovery, I hard to believe because look, they take away the unemployment. If they take away the rent and mortgage freezes, then People will have to pay these things from their pockets. And I can tell you folks, they're not going to have the money to travel hundreds and thousands of miles to spend. I think a lot of people already maxed out on their credit cards. Oh, we finally, everything is opening up, visiting from California. Vegas is doing great. A lot of times the news media keeps promoting this guy, Jeremy Aguero. I don't know much about him, but like a lot of these people, I don't trust him. I've thought about actually interviewing him. You guys know him, but if we're really having a recovery, how can we have a recovery if we see that rising rates are going to put a hammer to all this because the treasuries are going up and some people say, oh, this is just a temporary bounce. And while that may sound reasonable, nevertheless, 
how can you explain that when we've been going up for a pretty, pretty long time for several months? And look at this five-year trend. Look at, at this trend that we've seen. It's just been falling bond rates. These lower interest rates, lower mortgage rates have encouraged more and more people to take out loans, lower mortgage standards, increase, inflate the bubbles more, again, create fake confidence, fake bubbles, inflating this and that, all this phony manipulative job growth. We were about 15% in the early 80s, and then we bought on at 0.35. If we take these highs of near 3%, this is showing you that we're going to reverse a 40 year trend. Look at this. They're talking about a GDP growth of 10%. But nevertheless, when you look at despite all this spending, I mean, if if the economy is so great, they probably should stop spending, believe it or not. And we see here that there is 8.6 million fewer employed. Do you really think we're going to get to that number anytime soon? I don't know, especially rumors, the fact that a lot of these jobs may be replaced by machines and other types of devices. And we have 10 million jobs, which are just simply missing. A lot of this, of course, is in the hospitality sector, the restaurant sector, inflation fears as Asian stocks ready to go down again. I'd all of these downfall signs in the economy. They're still looking to expand lands all across the Las Vegas Valley. And of course, why are they doing this? Well, maybe they believe in private property rights. Maybe they want to give developers more profitable opportunities. And this is, of course, good news for me because I do plan on building on the outskirts of town. And not to mention, you know, the news media is still playing the race card, is still trying to create fake hope in the economy that somehow the people are going to buy homes, but they're talking about the Hispanic family buying their first home. First of all, you know, if they're being oppressed, if they're not doing so well, why are they coming in the United States? Why should we welcome all these migrants? They're increasing numbers. And they talk about how they have these payment assistance programs to help. Well, it kind of sounds like what they were doing about 15 years ago, helping so-called minorities. But we remembered what happened as a result. It didn't turn out too well. And they're having these low money down programs. These prices are artificially inflated. We know that if rates go up, if confidence goes down, then it's pretty, pretty likely that we're going to see another round of home foreclosures. And it's likely going to hit the so-called people of color a lot more. I can tell you that. So what do you think about all this? I'm just tired of this race pumping agenda by the media. Hopefully this thing will start crumbling down and this will change not only the economy, but our social views in this society.